Joining me is Jack Nichols from the BBC. Jack, welcome to Egg Street. I understand as soon as this game was announced, you were first on the list to cover the game. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. I was uh, incredibly excited when they sent me an email saying, oh, we've got a game for you. It's quite far away from London, Hereford versus Telford. I was all over it because uh, my first ever football match was here in the 94-95 season. Uh, I was four years old or something up in the Lem Western stand with my granddad. Uh, I can't remember who it was against, Rochdale or, or someone like that. And uh, yeah, been to lots of Hereford games down the years. Was here in 99 for that FA Cup game against Leicester and the nil-nil and Paul Parry hitting the post. I was at uh, the Walker Stadium in, in Leicester for the promotion playoff final with Ryan Green scoring the winner. So yeah, it's uh, great to be back here at Edgar Street. I understand when you started your career, you used to commentate um, over Hereford matches. Yeah, yeah. I was. Uh, I got given a video camera when I was young, and uh, I used to sit up there at the back of the Lem Weston, like about four seats along from the actual professional who, who films it and film the whole match and then go home and uh, and commentate on it. That was in about 2002 I started doing that. And uh, uh, actually Rob Purdy was playing then and he's back at the club now. So uh, it's a little bit bizarre that, that he's still here. This weekend you're at Edgar Street. Last weekend you're in Mexico for the Formula One. What's it like covering that for the BBC? I love covering the Formula One for the BBC. It's my Formula One is my, you know, biggest passion. I love football, obviously, but, but Formula One's what it's all about for me and uh, getting to go all around the world covering it for the BBC is, is absolutely fantastic and I love it. The only big uh, gripe I have with it is that when I was covering the um, American Grand Prix uh, in uh, Texas, Kings Langley, where I now live, were here at Edgar Street getting thrashed 3-0, obviously, but I would have loved to have been here with the 27 travelling Kings Langley fans because that would have been a, a lot of fun, but no, love covering Formula 1 for BBC. Fantastic to see all the success that Lewis Hamilton has had. It's a real Now, what do you think about the Phoenix Cup? I think it's I think it's fantastic and uh, everyone was so desperately sad to see the club get into the problems they were in almost predominantly because of the FA Cup. I think that's where there's a lot of warmth in people's hearts for Hereford because of 1972 and 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 all of that victory against Newcastle. And I think that's what stands out in people's mind when they think of Hereford. And so for me personally, as a as a guy with some Hereford shirts at home, you know, it was a real shame to see them go under. But the but the revival's going strong, doing really well in the in the Southern Premier Division. I've seen quite a few Southern Premier matches this year and I have to say Hereford are, are very much up there. Them and Kings Lynn I'd say are the, are the two best teams that I've seen this season so it's very exciting and getting back into the Football League will be a challenge but if, if they can get up to just that sort of conference level or National League uh, level I think that's, you know, they'll sit nicely there and, and then try and build for the future.